Um, one of the questions that I saw coming up a number of times that popped up, and I even had the question in my head, was what – I think the specific question was what license were you showing uh, as you were going through the first part of the demo? Um, and I know that when you and I first were introduced to each other, that was like licensing. So <laughs> which, yeah. uh, what are the licensing restrictions around some of the things you showed uh, in, in the demo? Yeah, great question. That, that was definitely one of the, the things I am most passionate about. So that first demo I showed where I connected to the Excel spreadsheet and we created the flooring sample. That was all in what we call the seated license where that's included if you have your Microsoft 365, um, like E3 or Business Premium, those type of level SKUs, you get a base version of Power Apps included with that. And you can connect to things like Excel workbooks in SharePoint um, with that license included. Now, the second one I showed, though, where I did the custom connector generated from an open API file, that does require an additional Power Apps premium license. And okay. one thing I will say is they just announced some um, um, discounts on that. So they reduced the, the licensing costs. So it's $5 per user per month for a single application to license to be able to use the custom connector that way, or $20 for an unlimited amount of applications per user per month to cool. be able to consume that. Cool. And I don't know if you know the answer to this, but, but I'll ask anyways, because the guy who answered, who asked the question, Jeremy Sinclair, the, the Twitter friend of mine, um, a good question. Will the HTTP connector ever become standard in Power Apps or is it always a, a premium one? I I don't I don't know the answer to that. OK, <laughs> that's fine. I promise, Jeremy, I'll take it back to the team. And, I mean, I would cross my fingers and hope so. But, you know, we'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it back to the team. We'll see. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> um, so Thomas asked the question as well, um, you know, is a connector mostly a trigger? And trigger is, uh, you know, it's a term that probably is more common when it comes to functions where, you know, we're waiting for an event to happen or something to you know, trigger an action to happen. So how do you think about connectors? Because there's, as you showed, the slide was like not even big enough to show all the connectors we have. How do you think about a connector? Um, well, I say it's not mostly... I mean, kind of, sort of, mostly triggers. So with the connectors, you know, each one is different. So if we talk about those SaaS connectors that we have to different services, each one has its own different triggers that can kick it off and it's the different actions. So, you know, one connector like take SharePoint, for example, that can trigger based on, automatically based off like when something is added. So it mm -hmm. can wait for that to happen. Whereas other ones, maybe they can only be triggered manually with some kind of execution like the button and the power app I was showing. So okay. it, it really differs based off of the connector and how it's built. Okay. One of the things that I, I thought was, was I want to kind of dive into a little bit, maybe it's not a question, but more of a, a an observation is when you connected, when you had the, the open API spec, right? We've, we've imported the plants and I want that API, by the way, I need to get with you later. Mm -hmm. So I want to use that. Um, and you pulled up the formula bar and you're like, oh, I'm just going to connect it to my API, blah, blah, blah. I want to emphasize the fact that you actually didn't do anything, right? There was no code. It was almost like this is just now a method that's available to me or formula. Like I just typed like my whatever dot and now the methods are available, right? Yeah, exactly. And in the dot too, that's one of the things I love about Power Apps, especially from, you know, coming from a, a proto background, it has that like IntelliSense that we're used to. We just do a dot, we figure out what's okay, here are all the, the methods that I can call with this API and here what here's exactly what I need to pass it in. It's as simple as what we're used to in you know, Visual Studio. Yeah. That's great. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, I appreciate you taking the time to throw all this at us. I'm still consuming a lot of what you what you had there. Um, and we're gonna jump into um, a, a next section of that Nitya, our, our friend and, and colleague, she likes to do all these sketch notes and it's like a hangman thing. So I'm really looking to, uh, to jump in and maybe you can help me guess through some of these things. So, uh, we will jump into that next. I think Ryan, our, our lovely producer is going to throw one up here. Um, so we're supposed to kind of guess what this is. Uh, it's kind of a hangman. So people in the chat here, uh, try and figure out what we're trying to guess this particular service. It's really, really fast. So when you pre-built visual controls and components that don't fit your needs, what is this particular tool, right? Oh, you guys have instructions in the chat. All right, does anybody know what it is? April, are you still around? Can you help me? Don't know? I don't even know what it is. What? <laughs> Power apps. 
Oh, we get a little clue here. I'm oh, yeah. Mad. I know. I, I didn't want to ruin it for anyone, though, in the chat. <laughs> I know what it is. I was going to give it like a little bit more time. Does anybody have it in the P chat? PCF. I mean, what were those like things that we built, like um, widgets almost? What's another word for widgets? I mean, yeah. So it looks like this the developer wants to turn a square into a circle. Like, what will we do for something that's cu custom? Uh, I, I mean, I'm thinking that's a component. Um, and then power apps, that's what I'm thinking. That's a pretty good guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with, oh, Jeremy, our good friend Jeremy just popped in, and so did Douglas and Jay. All right. But Jay got close. Jay said connect framework. That's pretty close. Uh, Jeremy says uh, power apps component framework. All yes, right, that's it. Very nice. <laughs> Very nice. All right. I think we got time. Do we have time for another one or no? Um, yes. Yeah. All right, we're getting lots of yeses in our own chain. We got a question. I want to see what this question here is. Uh, all right, Douglas, I'll get with you. Uh, I'll answer that question here shortly. You can ping me on Twitter, Douglas, for your question about the dev book. Okay, um, let's go ahead and throw up our next uh, little hangman test. All right, this is a concept. Mitya draws really fast. I know. All right, <laughs> this is, uh, all right how'd you make this? Okay, it looks like somebody can go really fast. Do you know any coding languages? Have you heard about Power Apps? All right, this looks like a concept. Uh, concept. I'm going to check our other chat here. I'm going to look up at my other screen here. All right, it's a term to describe the ability to use uh, to build apps using visual interfaces and scripting instead of programming languages. That's a little tricky because you said we could use some. Yeah, I wouldn't say instead of, but yeah, I did talk about this quite a bit just now. So <laughs> sure did. Uh, looks like, all right, we've got one guess in here. I'm waiting for maybe one more. All right, all right, Geetha and Jay both get it. All right, they said low code. It's a good yeah. guess. 